Francis. Oi, Francis, how are you, mate? Hey, hey, bite me, Finkelstein, eh? Hey? <laughs> Listen, Finkelstein, got you a gig. Yeah, seems now all four deadbeats are pushing up daisies. Almost immediately, everybody wants to get their hands on good old bite me, Finkelstein. Right, mate, mustache. Uh, lucky day, eh? Well, I mean, not the death bit, but still. Looks like your life's about to turn around. Ta-ra! Mr. Finkelstein. Francis Finkelstein. <gasps> ah, good. You're awake. Well then, seems you've gotten yourself into a bit of a muddle, Mr. Uh, Miss... Uh... Sir? Hmm. Well, that clears up the first question. Due to your, um, condition, <laughs> I'm afraid your case file is a little bit on the light side. Condition? What am I? Am I dead? Ah, uh, no, actually. <laughs> That's the problem. Personality aside, you're quite alive, and I'm afraid there are laws against that sort of nonsense in Wailing Heights. Technically, the charge is illegal thresholding, and with your current biological status, we're in a spot of legal bother. You see, we can't allow you to stay in Wailing Heights. But at the same time, <laughs> we can't let you leave. Hmm. Here, why don't you have a biscuit while we sort this all out, eh? Wailing Heights? Finkelstein. Where have I heard that name before? Ah, of course! Bite me, Finkelstein! Now I recognize you! Your old born loser, Finkelstein, from Here Come the Deadbeats! How could I not have picked you outright? Ha <laughs> Bite me, Finkelstein. Classic. Anyway, yes, well, that fills in your history a bit. Didn't think I'd be representing a celebrity today. Well, not really celebrity, but you know what I mean. Right. Occupation. Plucky comic relief. Peripherally attached to the deadbeats. Peripherally? But I wrote all the songs. Yes, quite. Hey, do you want to hear something funny? I'm a bit of a musical maestro myself. You'll probably recognize the voice. So go man, so go man, so go man. No matter the crime, there's a legal loophole. So if you're feeling guilty, better call Saul. Saul Gulman, public defender for the deceased. I've never heard Ghost Rap before. Good, isn't it? Here, let me get you some tea. I'll be right back. Help yourself to a biscuit, they're lovely. Holy smokes! Either Manchester Monster Menagerie has an elaborate prank budget this year or I have a ghoulish jail to escape. They look pretty horrible. Still, I am kind of peckish. Ugh. Ugh! Disgusting! I think I just swallowed a cookie's corpse. Still, Mam always said never pass up a free meal. Or oh, was that Elvis who said that? I always get the two confused. Hey! Hey, buddy! You look like you're in a pickle. If you can pass me up a bit of grub for my escape out of here, I'll make it worth your while. By grub, do you mean food or actual grubs? Either will do. I'm not fussy. 
Let me check my pockets. Mm. Uh, oatmeal raisin. Well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. In exchange for your awesomeness and seeing as I won't need it anymore, I want to give you something. What is this thing? Haven't you seen a musical possession wheel before? Add the right ingredients, find the right words, and you can sing your soul into another body. Oops, your boy Gulman's coming back. Adios. Just remember the musical formula. Find the real name, something they love, an item they hate, and you can possess anyone's undead body. Right then, tea and biscuit, civilized. Ah, I see you started without me. Uh, what do you think of the biscuit, eh? Yamas. Ah, there's nothing I love more than a biscuit, yes, Sari. Love, love, love these cookies. Ah, so, back to our little conundrum. Lucky for you, I know exactly how to sort this out. I'll just glide over to Town Hall. Look up the Human Rights Act, we'll have you out of here in a jiffy. Just a few cases ahead of you, and in order to access the law library, I'm going to need to earn myself a promotion, which will require me going back to law school for a bit longer. A trifling matter, really. All told, I should be back with an update in about... 80 years. 80 years? But I'll be dead in 10! Ha <laughs> ha, well, that certainly works out in both our favour, doesn't it? Anyway, I need you to sign here, here, and here. Or you can use my... Ah! As a man who enjoys his paperwork, I hate, hate, hate pens that don't work. Oh, I'd love to add that to my broken pen collection. Don't see why not. Weirdo. Before we finalise all this, I'm going to go over the fine print, just to make sure you understand everything. Are you sitting comfortably? No. Excellent. Let's begin. Clause 1.1.0a. Insofar as, forthwith, aforementioned, whereas notwithstanding in perpetuitous habeas defence duration of exceptio probat, De regulorum de baris non exceptus blah 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 non blah 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 nonsense etc etc So go man so go man so go man Soul Goodman likes his chocolate chip to make inside of the dough. He likes his cookie crisp, but messy writing, he can't handle that. And broken pens, that's what makes him snap. Well, that was weird. Ah! I'm scaring myself. Hang in there. Eighty years. Let's see if we can't expedite the process a little. Expedite? Expedite? Explicate? Man, nobody's going to believe I'm a lawyer. Oh, I can taste that biscuit in Goldman's mouth. Right, how do I get out of here? That hat makes you look like Van Helsing. Wanna hear a funny story? I am Van Helsing. Really? No. Because that would be really ironic. What are you in for, Mr. Werewolf? Uh, beat beat before you get eat, ghost! I think you mean eaten. Uh. Sorry, I thought this was the grammar police department. Hello, officer. 
Don't distract me. I ain't guarding these here perps. What were they arrested for? Crimes unspecified. Does that mean you don't know exactly what they did? Perhaps. Goldman! Saul Goldman! I need a man of your particular skills. What sort of skills would those be then? I play mean blues harmonica. All valuable in certain situations, but not today. See those three precipitators over there? You mean perpetrators? I don't know. You're the silver-tongued lawyer. Anyway, two of them are innocent. The other one is guilty. Guilty of what? Security fraud. What? Selling fake pensions to the dead. That's the crime. Anyway, see if you can use your ghostly powers to find out which of those scumbags I should arrest. Happy to help. I... I think I'm invisible. Ah, if this day couldn't get any weirder. Or cooler. I should think about upgrading my broadband service. I think I buy dinner with the money I took off dumb people yesterday. I know who did it. Who? Oh? It was your fellow police officer over there. He did it. Oh, mine? Really? I heard him loud and clear. That sucks. Now I got to call internal affairs. Uh, can I go now? Yeah, thanks, Sol. I'll clean up this mess. Don't panic. Deep breath. Just breathe. Ah, uh, I have no lungs. Guess that's why I'm not hyperventilating right now. Okay. Step one. Make my way to the town hall library. Easy. Step two. Find a book on human rights. Step three. Bring it back here and exonerate my body before I end up a permanent resident. How hard can that be? Hey, uh, I was wondering if you could help me. Make it quick, Saul. I'm busy. Any idea where I could get myself a book on human rights? <laughs> and what would a low-level, second-rate lawman like Saul Gulman need something like that for? I've been... Uh, I mean, a client of mine has been wrongfully imprisoned. A client? You? What poor sap got stuck with you as a lawyer? Hmm, indeed. Anyway, your client's out of luck. Human reference section is on the top floor. And as you may recall, top floor is BLTY access only. BLTY? Better lawyer than you. Top floor, you say? Mind if I float on up? You know you're tethered to the ground floor, Gulman. And I don't see a promotion in your near future. Is there any way I could nip up to the top floor? Ha! <laughs> if you could grow wings, you could fly up. Delivery from the crematory. About time. Is it still even warm? Well, it was wriggling when I left the shop. At this point, I'd say semi-coagulated at best. Well, leave it on the counter and flap off. <laughs> Keep the bag, old bag. Oh, transmorphing in public. Kids these days just have no self-respect. Anyway, what was I saying? Something about sprouting wings.
Trespassers will be exercised. 